Hey folks, Stronghold Crafter Kev here. Uh, this is going to be a uh, channel update, and I feel that it was uh, necessary to uh, let you do folks know what's going on. Uh, a lot of changes have been going on recently, and uh, I just want to bring up the speed. The uh, Castle Tower tutorial is finished, and uh, I wanted to go on from there. And uh, anyway, I'll try to keep this brief as much as I can. So you know. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got the sniffles, but, uh, anyway. <clears throat> I am going to, uh, first of all, my, my projects are going to be centering on, uh, dungeon boards. Yes, I'm going to get away from uh, towers for a little bit, and I'm going to, or not towers, but strongholds in general, and uh, we're going to go underground and uh, talk about, uh, some stuff like, uh, okay, let's see here, one of my boards here, and let's see here, uh, one of these, and here's another one I've been working on. Yes, this is going to be a very compact and uh, modular system. And eventually, I will do some uh, tutorials as to how I do that. And uh, for all you people out there that are wondering, yes, this is made out of foam. So, if you would like an alternative to cardboard, this is what it would look like with uh, standard beaded uh, white polystyrene. Anyway, I've been getting some uh, better lightning lately, so it's a little bit brighter in the room uh, for the crafter's lair. And uh, let's see, what else can I say about that? Uh, I'm going to strive to actually get better video quality, uh, and uh, but that you know all takes time and. Uh, Budgeting, and I've got a cat in here that's stirring around, so it's, it's like, stop distracting me, Nina, or I'll put you on the spot. Anyway, um, lately I've been uh, working on uh, some more social outlets. Uh, I have, of course, a Google Plus page with uh, YouTube, and uh, I have a Twitter account now, and I am uh, going to be releasing soon a uh, Facebook page. So that'll all be uh, up and running, and uh, I have to clear up some confusion here. I have two websites now, and for the longest time I've, I've been talking about, you know, for more information on my craft, this is my website, which is uh, strongholdsoffantasy.com, and well, that's going to change because uh, recently I... Uh, added another uh, domain and now I have a, a website called uh, strongholdcrafter.com that's mainly where all of my crafts are going to be uh, displayed and my tutorials and whatnot and anything dealing with uh, model building in general uh, the uh, strongholds of fancy website that's more going to be a, uh, a literary site uh, because I love strongholds and I do write too, so it's kind of like you know, I'm a mixed nut here, going back and forth between modular building and, and uh, writing and stuff. And uh, and uh, I had this conversation going on in my head for a little while, back and forth. And uh, I feel like I was having a a fight between Gollum and Smeagol, if you can relate, uh, with uh, Lord of the Rings, which is a great series. But anyway, you know, I and and I, I was thinking about uh, how. Uh, you know, part of me is like, but you've been working on the site for so long, and all of a sudden it's like, uh, yeah, but it wasn't feeling right. You know, and, and part of me is like, are you crazy? You have all that data and stuff to move, and now you're going to move it to another site? And then you're, you've got all these YouTube channel... Uh, <clears throat> videos with saying you go to this site now you're going to redirect people to that site and it's like yes so that's what's going on 
and I've made my decision and I'm sticking to it. So, in the future, you will probably see some alterations to videos I've already done, if you haven't already. And the new ones, I will, I think I'll just promote a list as to my, <clears throat> excuse me, as to my other uh, facets and, and uh, outlets, like I was talking about before. Uh, so, yes, with the dungeon boards, there's going to be, I'm just going to ramble just a little bit more on that. Uh, I was inspired by DMG and I was inspired by DM Scotty. I, I love their work and I thought, well, you know, let's take this to the foam zone and see what I can do with that. And uh, I'm going to be, of course, you know, using uh, mainly uh, the Hotware Foam Factory tools in order to achieve that. And uh, like I said, I'll do showcase. I will do uh, vids and I will also do the. Uh, Tutorials, yes. So if you uh, if you want to be able to make those kind of boards and stuff, it'll be available for you, and so on and so forth. And I think that just about wraps things up. But just wait one second there. Hi folks, this is Nina the Terror. <laughs> yes, you were distracting me so much that I decided to put you in the video. Yes. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Danger. <sighs> and I'd like to also say, uh... If you are a subscriber, thank you. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you in a bit.